This week, when saints go marching. The contestants for the 19th annual Mr. Sienna have spent much of their spring semester in hours long rehearsals. I need the most help. I am not a dancer at all, but you know, I think it's getting there. It's looking really good. It's crunch time now, but if they can pull it off by showtime, you're probably wondering. What can the audience expect to see? Well, that is a guarded secret. You can expect uh, some surprises from me, uh, especially from my talent. It's a big surprise. I'm not going to expose anything at all. You have to just come to the show, buy a ticket, and come watch. Without divulging details, what we do know is that for nearly 20 years, the all-male beauty pageant has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to fund annual Habitat for Humanity trips. It supports a great cause. Habitat Humanity is an amazing organization and something that everyone should support. We also know that Mr. Sienna is always a can't-miss Sienna production. I went to my first show last year and it was life-changing. I enjoyed it so much and I'm very glad that I was able to get involved and put it together. But if that's not enough and you just have to have a spoiler, well, at this year's show, you can expect... They can expect to see the show of a lifetime. That's what they can, they, they can expect to see. Tickets for the Saturday, April 15th show can be bought in advance or at the door. The curtain rises at 7 o'clock in the MAC for what promises to be... A masterpiece. A collective masterpiece. Each spring, Exposé showcases dance, singing, and spoken word from students of diverse backgrounds and allies. This year, there was a lot of that, plus a Caribbean flair. The theme was Caribbean Carnival and more than a dozen performances from Irish Step to Bollywood put on a dazzling show that left the audience lost in sound. It was pretty crazy. I've been performing in these since freshman year and they're always one of my favorite events here on campus. Grace performed with Lost in Sound, a 17-person a cappella group that, along with other performers, amplified the range of talent at Siena. It's so important for us to showcase the arts on campus. It's something that not every school has and it's something that just brings us all together in a way that we never get to experience in our day-to-day -day lives but we get to experience it every spring here at Siena. Until next time, when saints go marching. <laughs>